Hey guys, Mr. Cheeps here. You took an object and fractured it, but now you have some problems. Image textures don't work, even with box mapping. Where do we go now? So to fix all our texturing problems with multiple objects like this self-fracture right here, we are going to use the UV project modifier so we can get some results like this. We're going to select one of the cells and assign it an image texture. Now we will go back to the layout workspace and give this cell a UV project modifier. This modifier works by using projectors, which kind of function like actual light projectors sending the texture onto the mesh from whatever direction the projector is facing. Now in Blender we have 6 different directions to project from, so we're going to increase the number of projectors in this modifier to 6. Now let's add in a plane to act as a projector. Hopping into edit mode, I'm going to add in a loop cut and grab this one up to make this V-shape. That way I can see where the plane is pointing. If I go back to the UV project modifier and select this as the first projector, you can see that the texture will get sent onto the mesh. If I move this plane around or rotate it, then you can see the texture move around. So now I'm going to duplicate this plane projector so I have six of them and just rotate them until we get one for each direction. Then I will select all of these projectors under the UV project modifier and you can see that the texture will be projected onto the mesh from all directions. Now I'm just going to select all the cells that I want this modifier to affect and use shift to select the cell that we applied the UV project modifier to last. We can then link the modifier to all these cells with the control L shortcut and click on the modifier selection. Now this texture will tile across all of your cells through the UV project modifier. You can scale the texture with the projectors or with these sliders but these sliders will only work if you use a camera as your projector. That's just something to keep in mind there. Hopefully this helps you with your self-fracturing, your rigid body simulations, and your texture work. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.